Welcome to TSMP. Have a look around. No, really, that's a thing Jay wrote. It exists. It's out there. We have Minecraft and Lord Time. TSMP stands for Two and Kind Survival Multiplayer. We split off from Draft House to play Minecraft and be goofy, and look what happened. Uh, within the first month, we had a lore channel with the very first message pinned, so we can go back to the very top and read through, and uh, I, I think we're about five months in now. No one uses it, because there's too much. We're lore gremlins. We have twinsies, though. Ayo, shout out to Bash. They got lore. We have lore. They have fucked up shit. We have fucked up shit. Shout out to Abby, Vamp, Lewis, Fletcher, Jazz, Rada, Liz, anyone else who's in both Bash and TSMP because I know more people joined after I added the slide. <laughs> Sometimes we invade the draft house. Uh, yeah, one time Jade decided, hey, what if we talked about how fucking cursed avians are in draft house? Wouldn't that be fucked up? And it was. It was fun. Oh yeah, Fletcher talked about how Fleck is immortal. Don't worry about that. Meet our most active cast! We have Lewis and RJ, our wonderful admins and foxlings. We have Avi as Creature, Ike as Ike, Hex as Jack, Rata as Bunyan, Cell as Bunny, Mason as Carnival, Jade as Cam, JJ as Cliff, Cherry as- Oh, what's this? A double name! Don't worry about that, it's just Cherry. Kate as Soap, Briggs as Dillinger, Liz as Eli, Fletcher as Fleck, Foster as Foster the Cat, Jazz as Hata, which I think is pronounced that way. Don't correct me, I'm always right. Saria as Landia, Marzi, that's me, about Maris, Oogie as Oogie, Nico as the Rat King, Atomic as Phoenix, and Cursed as Redacted. We love lore, baby! We have lightning strikes lore. We have traversing through servers. That's a thing that was confirmed. Not just that, we are confirmed a video game, and our characters don't know that. One of them does. Well, two of them do, I think. Don't worry about it. The Ender Dragon is a mom? Yes, this is an important plot point. Don't worry about it. Uh, Elytrians come in three flavors, and that is Chiro Elytrians, Feathered Elytrians, and Elytrian Fae. That's stuff I know, but uh, because I'm an Elytrian, don't worry about it. We also have Elytra Ceremonies, because those things are sacred, and if you get an Elytra without having a ceremony, you will make a small fairy cry. Yo, we have funky lifespans. We have confirmation of humans existing hundreds of years ago. And also confirmation of our world being way older than that. We also have worm lore. Like, fucking, we have endermite lore because the entirety of Endgang hates endermites. Bro, fuck endermites. All my homies hate endermites. We even have lore for our spectators. Starbs, Morsky, my beloveds. Uh, Aster lives in the sky. Morsky lives in the void. Don't worry about that part. Uh, we love them, and we visit them in our dreams. We have pranks. We have so many pranks. Uh, so many, so many pranks. Even more pranks. I'd like to direct your attention especially to the gay beam up there. Yeah, we have the gay beam. We have a grand old time in TSMP. Oh shit, actual weird things that are canon in TSMP. Oh fuck, Dehu the giant chicken. Election fair born from cabbages? Bunyan's Anomaly Tiny House! We have an evil cryptid. No, I won't elaborate. Heart emoji. Brix's character literally changes origins like some people change clothes. And that's fucking wild. Giant fish horrors live in the void. And remember how Morsky lives in the void? Don't worry about that. Like, two people are planning on, on breaking bedrock? And that's confirmed angst. Those are angst plot points. Like, what the fuck? Here's the second one. Milk delivery. There are now three whole inchlings, and none of their lore coincides with this, each other. None of it. Bunyan is 50 feet tall. Did I forget to mention that? Because he's 50 feet tall. Hex's character Jack is technically a year old. We have a bedrock jail, like, under the community hub. It's there, and it's hidden, but it's there. I've been locked in there before. Lewis is canonically and in character forcing everyone to go to therapy. Yes, this is an important plot point. Technically, it is past, but that is an important plot point. RJ's character eats eyes, but only their own eyes. Don't worry about that. Oh shit, a third one. Oh yeah, Lewis got body snatched, baby. We got jar trauma. Charlie Slime School works at Fantasy Costco. Yo, rabies the phantom. Rest her bitchy soul. Oh, winky face. Some TSP characters are Draft House canon. Oh man, what's that? Yeah, we ported someone to Draft House. 
the shame box exists. It's a whole fucking thing, and you go in there if you fuck up names or you say something truly atrocious, affectionate. Don't ask why Abby is there. Abby is in there forever. And if you ask, you will also be put in the box. Oh fuck, a fourth one! Dillinger is the only one to have ever escaped bedrock jail and was immediately put back. Cherry once misused magic and grew to the size of the universe, thus crashing the server. Speaking of crashing servers, I think I forgot one. Uh, capitalism once crashed the whole server. I forgot to read that one. That one sure did happen. Uh, Bunyan has a giant endermite named Little Megamite. And, bro, like I said about the worm lore, Endgang hates endermites. Thank you. Rowan and Sylvester Toonkind were there once, and I have screenshots as proof, so hey, if you want those, like, hit me up. <laughs> People regularly break and enter for lore. That is true. Most of our characters have journals and will break into people's houses. It's fine. Let's talk about our AUs. This is the part where Dillinger breaks his character against kin assigned silent protagonists. Like in Portal and Undertale. Don't worry about it. This is a call out post for breaks. Why the fuck does your character have such silent protagonists like tired energies? Ayo. I'd also like to give a special shout out to the circus AU because I made that one. And people tried to make it angsty and I said no. I want a happy circus. We have so many AUs. I interrupt this program to bring you Marzi is always right. Here is my tier list for Ben 10 aliens, and I am always correct. Pesky Dust is the best alien, and no one can change my mind. Ever. Fucking look at this son of a bitch. It's a fucking fairy. And it has sleep powder and dream manipulation powers. Yo, they could- If- If Pesky Dust is fighting an opponent, they could make that opponent sleep forever. And they can watch their dreams and turn those dreams into nightmares. Fucking look at this shit. And they can do that with multiple people at once. Pesky Dust is the best. This is the worst. He is the worst. Anywho, he's back to TSMP. Don't worry about it. We have clicks. Like a high school. We go. High school AU win. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Please don't make a high school AU. We have the skeleton crew. We have the buns. Nether Squad, the End Gang QPR, which I think is the biggest click. Don't worry about it. Hilltop Neighbors, I fuck. I put a picture of Landy in there. I forgot to put her name. Don't worry about it. Landy is there. <laughs> we also RP, both text and verbal. Sometimes they're basically FPSs, and it is pretty fucking rad. Uh, this is the one where we perform the unholy ritual to get Lewis's body back. Here's a nice chat between Dillinger and Bunyan. Uh, Lewis being a horrible patient. Uh, that sure does look like Lewis, but don't worry, it's not. He did die over and over again, though. Uh, this is a screenshot of not a verbal RP, but that was between me and Breaks. Here's another one of the wing ceremonies that I mentioned before. Oh, shit, look at all those doctor's appointments and therapy sessions. I was not lying about the therapy. We RP so much. Literally so much. We have five whole channels for them. Five of them. So much. Don't even get me started on how beautiful our world is. Or do. Here's the plant aquarium. And the sheep farm. What's that? The fuck Zebo? Yes, you heard me correct. The fuck Zebo. Oh, when? Site B? Ooh, how ominous. Lewis's old restaurant. He doesn't use it anymore. I'm the chef now. I stole that job. Here's Atomic's house! And my cafe! Okay, so it wasn't just me, right? Y'all can, y'all can, can y'all hear me? Oh, Marzi's power went out. Okay, I will stop the thing for now. <laughs>